Sonics are trying to figure out what to do about Raymond's fainting spell, and he takes the opportunity to get up and run away from the place, unbeknownst to them. The old man who was going to help David was officially the owner of the garage, and they realized that they had been caught in the crossfire. In order to express their apologies, the garage redisguised the car and the two of them took out a tank cap of gold as a thank you. But just as they were about to leave, a car drove in. David quickly hid in the car to hide because the other party was the killer who had tortured him before. The mechanics went to the car to get rid of him, but when they heard the man's name, they were scared and fled. The man who saw them didn't go in to catch them but took out a rocket launcher and aimed it at the house next to them. The frightened duo really panicked and fled in their car without realizing that this was exactly what the man had done. The slow speed of the old used car was followed by the man, who pulled out a gun and kept shooting at them. The two of them can only panic and dodge randomly, but inadvertently drove to the border of the cliffs and went down. But the killer wouldn't give up and kept shooting into the water. But soon the police arrived and arrested him. At the same time, the golden car also slowly sank into the water and the two of them kept scooping up water with a basin and finally managed to float along